one of Thailand's most popular soups. A little bit spicy, sour, salty, yet so soft and creamy. Sounds crazy, but trust me, this is the best combination. And the list of the ingredients is in description. Stick with me to the end to see how to make authentic Tom Kha Gai from scratch. Today I'm using two types of mushrooms: oyster mushrooms and button mushrooms. It's so round and cute. Okay, vegetables preparing part. That's what my mom taught me. Massage the lime a bit so we get a bit more juice, and it works. We're going to use about one and a half tablespoon lime juice. So let's squeeze the juice out. We are using both fresh and dried chilies. Don't have to go crazy like me. Just put as much or as less as you like. We're going to roast the dried chilies later. Slice them. I like the spice. Mashing it before slicing brings out more fragrance. Here comes the star of the dish, galangal. That's why we call it tong ka gai, cause ka means galangal in Thai. Tong means soup, and gai means chicken. Well, slice them thinly. Oyster mushrooms, my favorite. This part, the bottom, is too chewy, so we want to cut it off and just tear it into the size you like. My lovely, yummy butter mushrooms. Also, cut off the button. And cut into small pieces. Lemongrass, remove the tough outer leaves, mashing from our fragrance. We don't need the bulb, so cut it off, then slice. Red onion, or you can also use shallots. Coffee lime leaves, mash it, mash. What's wrong with me with the mashing today? Coriander, just cut roughly. Chicken, I'm using thigh today, but actually you can use any part you like. Roast in the dry chilies. Okay, preparing part is done. Now let's make the soup. First, we are adding water. Let it boil. Then one tablespoon tamarind paste. Follow with the first set of herbs: galangal, lemongrass, and onion. Put in a pot and let it boil again. Follow with coffee and lime leaves. One important reason why we put the herbs first is to reduce the smell of the chicken. So once the chicken is in, do not stir. Just poke to make sure it's under the water. Leave it boil. Bring out the foam. These are from the chicken blood. Once the chicken is cooked, follow with mushrooms. Put coconut milk once it boils. Stir a bit. One and a half tablespoon palm sugar. If you don't have palm sugar, just white or brown sugar would do. 
7 tablespoons of fish sauce, 10 tablespoon for Dong Ka Gai from scratch. Getting hot steamed rice ready uh, is super good, especially on the cold days. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. And do not forget like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for today and see you again in the next recipe. Sawadee Kha.